My name is Sasha, and I'm a physicist. This is our home. We have been living here for about 200,000 years. It is a beautiful blue planet. We know is about 4,500,000 years old. Looks pretty nice from here. It orbits a very common star, just at the right distance to keep us warm and with liquid water in the surface to hold our lives. We don't know if there are more planets like this in the universe. For now we have no other. Sadly, this beauty is very ill. Got kind of cancer. Called human beings. And won't be able to hold our lives more than about 1000 years from now. This is our satellite. The moon. Is the result of tremendous massive collision in between the Earth and a planet of the size of Mars called Ta. That biblical event took place by the formation of the solar system. And she has been there since 3 million years ago. Ta. Is in the trajectory of collision with the Earth. It travels 15 times faster than a bullet. That collision changed our planet forever. We were very lucky. Hit us at the right time and in the right angle not to destroy both planets. Anyway, it won't have been a nice day to be on the Earth's surface. Time and gravity did all the rest. Today, we are looking for new planets, space telescopes such as Kepler and Hubble are orbiting the Earth, searching for new potential habitable planets. Astronomers of the observatory Keck in Hawaii announced on September 29, 2010 the discovery of the planet Gliese 581 grams, first exoplanet discovered after house life. Gliese 581c is in the constellation of Libra, about 20 light years from us, it seems that not this too far away compared to the immensity of space. This is the Saturn V rocket the most powerful and fastest manned spacecraft ever created. In a mix of cutting-edge technology and human boldness. Used for the Apollo missions and took humanity to the moon in the year 1969. Reaches a maximum speed of 25,000 km per hour. And now is when we realize how small we are. We are going nowhere, Glee East 581 is very 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 far away. Will take more than 300,000 years to arrive there. Looks like Saturn V won't take us there. Even traveling 100 times faster, to 25 million kilometers per hour. We will continue needing 3,000 years to get there. We will need a ship much, much, much larger. And for this, we will need a tremendous effort in the development of new technologies. Her size and power will have to be huge. We'll have to be driven by nuclear fusion or new matter.
we'll have to endure the lives of thousands of human beings for over 20 years. To be able to travel to 99% of the speed of light. It will have to be the most generous act ever created by the human being. The budget for its manufacture will be at the same tremendous scale of the universe. It will have to be financed by all the nations of the world, or in its case by its own passengers. When this interstellar ship begins its voyage, they will never see her again. The initial thrust of this massive interstellar ship will be progressive. Accelerating progressively for four years at full power. At this moment the human species would become an interest or civilization. This fact will have the same relevance as when Homo sapiens separated from the monkey. The interstellar journey to the Gliese 581 system will last more than 20 years. During all this time the spacecraft will have to be completely autonomous. Even micrometeorite impacts at this tremendous velocity could seriously damage the spacecraft. The solar system was left behind a long time ago, and is traveling through the vacuum of the interstellar space. It's been two years since the launch, and the interstellar ship reaches half the speed of light. Keeping the engines at full power for two more years, will reach 90% of the speed of light. The interstellar ship has traveled about 30 trillions of miles and reaches 90% of the speed of light. The same distance between Earth and Alpha Centauri. At this point the interstellar ship begins to travel in time. An hour in the spacecraft, are 2 on Earth. at 99% of the speed of light is the limit we can reach. The interstellar ship is now a machine that travels through the time and space one day on board is a whole year on Earth. There is only one direction for time, and that is forward. It's been 20 years on the strip, which means 7,300 years for the Earth. Possibly life on Earth ended many thousands of years ago already. Maybe they had another chance. But this is something that I will never know. Our interstellar ship started decelerating four years ago. We approach the solar system Gliese 581. There are three planets orbiting this little red dwarf star. 
that could withstand life on the surface. Maybe there's life, maybe intelligent life, but we haven't received any kind of signal to prove it. We've come looking for a new opportunity. We have the option to build a new world. We perfectly know very well all the wrong things we did. And the very high price we have had to pay. We'll explore these new worlds. And we will adapt ourselves to them. We are species that belong to the universe. We are just an interstellar civilization. But once we thought we were the center of the universe. And we lost our own planet.